Because in order to live as strangers and pilgrims, is, or in order to have that mindset and not get so wrapped up in the things of this world, you have to have faith. You have to walk by faith. You have to live by faith because faith is the belief in things that are unseen. It's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We, we don't see, we're walking by faith and not by sight in this life. So if we're going to truly do that, we need to increase our faith. We need to be able to um, have that set in the forefront of our mind and our thinking instead of being distracted by all the things that you can see around us. The Bible says in verse number one, we're going to read most of Hebrews 11. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. And we're going to go through these various examples of men throughout the scripture that have, that have acted on their faith and have done righteously and now are getting uh, credit based on their actions, based on their faith. And it starts off with just going all the way back to Cain and Abel. And saying, hey, Abel acted and gave of faith. He gave the, act, the sacrifices based on faith, based on what God commanded, what God told him. And just trusting, well, this is just what God, if this is what God said, and this is what God's going to get. As opposed to Cain, who gave of his best and his works and what he thought and, and made his own sacrifice instead of uh, the faith that God knows best. And I'm just going to do what God says and and be obedient more than give the sacrifice. Verse number five, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Verse number seven, by faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. And this is another good example. Now, obviously, his was a more physical example of something that physically was going to happen. But the same way, the same way that Noah was physically preparing an ark while everybody else was just enjoying the pleasures of the world, and doing whatever it is they did day in and day out. Noah was the one who was listening to God. Noah was the one who had faith in God's word enough to understand, hey, no, there's, there's actually trouble coming. Hey, there's something else coming ahead. And he was able to prepare for the danger, prepare for the flood, prepare for the destruction and make sure that he was ready to go. So that way, when the flood came, hey, he had faith in God's word and he acted upon it. So how does that apply to us? Obviously, we're not, we're not worried about a flood coming. Well, it applies to us because destruction is still coming on anybody who's unsaved. On all of the unbelievers of this world, destruction is coming. And it is for sure. And God's word spells out very clearly that people who are unbelievers are going to be destroyed. We know that Jesus Christ is coming back and he's going to set up a kingdom and that God's going to pour out his wrath as well on this earth. We know these things. So having this knowledge and knowing what God's word says about this, we need to have the faith to know, hey, this is real. This is going to happen. This isn't just fiction. This isn't just a good book. This is the word of God. So we need to change the way that we live, the way that we act to show forth that we do believe this, that this is real.